Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to talk about my favorite sewing tools. These are the tools that I reach for again and again as I sew. I've been sewing for about 25 years now, so I've really figured out what works, what doesn't, and I'm only gonna tell you about the ones that I really use all the time. So this will be a helpful video if you're trying to find the tools that you really need to start sewing or help someone else get sewing, or even if you're just not sure how to use the tools that you already have. I'll show all the tools that I use regularly and give you a little bit of information about how I use them and why they're useful. Let's get started. The first essential tool is an iron. This one is a Rowenta. I've probably had it for seven or eight years. They'll really last you a long time. It's not super high end. I would say this one is pretty mid range. And what you wanna look for is an iron that has a lot of settings for heat and it has good steam. I like this one because it has a button to poof out a little bit of extra steam or even spray a little bit of water. I even have a backup iron just in case my main one breaks. And I like to keep that iron dry without any water in it. And then if I ever need to iron out a pattern piece, I can use that iron and I know that I won't get it wet and ruin my pattern piece. Now for cutting out my patterns, I like to use a utility knife like this. Um, it's just something you can get at the drugstore and it has a retractable blade that you snap off as you use it. Very simple, very useful. For transferring markings to my fabric, I have two tools that I like to use. The first one is a pattern notcher. This is a tool that I inherited from my grandma and I didn't even know what it was for a really long time. So this little pattern notcher, it's like a hole punch except that it just cuts a little U shape out of the edge. So it's really convenient for cutting out the notches. I just cut a hole in my paper pattern using my pattern notcher. And then I can come back later with my scissors, which I'll talk about soon, to snip that little notch. The other tool that I find really handy for transferring marks is a tiny hole punch. You can use a regular size hole punch, but I find that this tiny one is more accurate. So anytime a pattern has a circle marking, I will punch that out of the pattern with this tiny hole punch. Then to transfer the marking onto my fabric, I'll just use a piece of chalk and rub the chalk on top of the pattern when it's on top of the fabric. So then when I peel my paper pattern away, there's a little circle marking just the size of the hole punch on my fabric. So this works really well for marking darts or just anywhere that you have a circle marking. For cutting out my fabric, I usually use a rotary cutter. This one is a 45 millimeter wide blade and it can be used for most things. I've had this for probably about 15 years and you only need to replace the blade when it gets dull. Otherwise the rest of it just lasts and lasts forever. I also have a mini 18 millimeter rotary cutter and this is really helpful for curves and tiny areas when I'm cutting out. The only drawback of this size is that it can't get into like really tight corners or curves. So I will often go back and cut those with scissors if I can't use this, but another option would be the smaller rotary cutter. I think this one's not really essential. It's kind of a nice to have, but it is useful. So as I mentioned, these are my favorite pair of scissors. These are a micro tip scissor and they're really great for clipping notches. They're great for clipping threads. Um, if you're sewing a neckline and you need to clip the curve or the neckline or anywhere else in the garment, these scissors are really great for just making a little tiny cut and getting really accurate and um, really close to the seam line. So these little micro tip, I always like to have them right next to me because they're so useful for so many things. Another tool that's really handy for marking on your fabric is a wash away fabric marker. And there are lots of different kinds of these and they will just mark on your fabric like a pen and then wash away with water. It's really handy and it's an alternate to chalk. So when I'm sewing, I really like to use pins and I like to use long pins that have a big head at the end. Um, I think the long pin gives me more accuracy and the large head makes it really easy to pick up. And I just keep them in a little glass photo. It's really easy to move about the sewing room and it keeps them all nice and tidy. 
And if you have a tendency to spill your pins, it's really handy to have a magnetic catcher. So if you ever knock over your little container of pins, it's really handy to have this so you can just swoop the magnet over the floor and pick them all up. So when you're sewing, I really like to have a walking foot. And back in the day, I had a machine that didn't have a walking foot and no walking foot was actually available for that machine. So getting a machine with a walking foot was really a big game changer for me. And these are really handy for sewing knit fabric. You can also use it for sewing knit or plaid to help get your layers, your pattern all lined up. And it's also really great for quilting. So if you don't have one of these, I definitely recommend getting a walking foot for your sewing machine. Here's another tool that I inherited. I've been very lucky to inherit a lot of tools. Um, you know, I don't always buy a lot of things. So I really discovered through inheriting them how useful they are. And this is a sleeve board. It has two sides, which is kind of fun. Um, you really only need one, but the great thing about a sleeve board is that it's very narrow. So I can put my sleeve right over this and press it flat. If you don't have a sleeve board though, you could roll up a towel, just a regular bath towel, hand towel, and use that. Um, it's also really handy to have a tailor's ham or a little sleeve ham like this, and you can make these yourself. Um, there are lots of tutorials online. While we're talking about ironing, this is another tool that I've found really handy. I think it's not super essential, but it's really good if you're using with a fabric that's difficult to press. You just put your iron on it for a little bit and then you put this wooden board on top and it holds the heat in the fabric longer without adding additional heat. So it'll help prevent burning your fabric because um, it kind of irons it longer but with less heat. So this is really handy. It is just a piece of wood. So I think you could probably fashion one yourself at home if you don't want to spend the money on this specific tool. This is a tool that I really use all the time. It's called the Dritz Easy Hem, and it's just a piece of metal that has a bunch of different measurements on it. And it's really handy for folding up an accurate hem. Um, you've probably seen me use it in a lot of my videos. I really use it all the time. I didn't have one for years and years, but after I bought it, I realized how useful it really is. I'm almost done. I just have three more tools. And these are all really specific to certain kinds of garment projects. Um, so you don't necessarily need them, but if you're going to be sewing certain kinds of things, I think they're really useful. The first one is a tube turner, and there are a lot of different kinds of tube turners. This one has a little hook on the end. So you insert it into the tube and you put the hook through the end of the fabric and then pull it right side out. I usually just use a safety pin, but sometimes for really narrow tubes, this one works really well. This fun little guy is a Simflex expanding sewing gauge, and this is really helpful when sewing buttons. I use this to evenly space buttonholes on a garment. I used to always just use my ruler and you know my marking pen or chalk and mark each one. And then I got this one as a gift and I was totally shocked by how useful it is because you just pull it out and then you know everything is evenly spaced and you can just make a little mark at each point. Um, so if you like to sew button up shirts, I definitely recommend getting this because you'll use it every time. All right, my last tool is a mini anvil. And this is really helpful if you are sewing jeans or setting rivets or jeans buttons. I sewed my first few pairs of jeans without one of these. I found it really hard to find a good surface that worked for hammering in my rivets and jeans buttons. So I got this mini anvil and it's really been a total game changer for jeans sewing or attaching rivets. Again, if you don't want to sew jeans or use rivets, then you probably don't need it. But if that's something you're into, this is really, really useful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learning more about these sewing tools and how I use them. I will have links to the tools down in the show notes. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about sewing tools. I've probably used some of them. I am kind of a minimalist when it comes to sewing tools. I don't like to go overboard or have things that I don't really need. So you can be assured that the tools I shared in this video are things that I really use regularly. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the show notes to my pattern shop or if you want to buy me a coffee. And if you haven't done so already, I would be so honored if you hit the little subscribe button below and then hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Happy sewing! Thank you.